Steve, uh, good night. Good result tonight, obviously. Um, I thought our lads played well, and there was, I thought, a bit of provocation out there at times. Yeah, there was. I told the boys beforehand, you know, um, what to expect. I've been there a few times. Um, I know what the hands gate are about. And to be fair, they stood up to it. I told them not to get silly and get involved and get sent off because it's harder to play with 10 men than 11. So uh, they, they've done what I asked them to do. Um, and I thought they stood up to the challenge as well. Um, and basically deserved their win, if I'm being honest, Jim, because there was only one team out there trying to play. And uh, we've got our, our rewards, to be fair. Definitely. Last 20 minutes, first half, first 20 minutes, second half, I thought we were particularly good on the passing game. Yeah, it was a big pitch. I just wanted my wide players to keep wide. You know, I played with two wingers tonight. I wanted them to keep wide. Little Cameron in the hole, he done very well getting on the ball. Um, but it was a youthful side out there, and um, Chris Ollie was doing very, very well with the reserves. And a lot of them had a good chance out there today, showed their worth, and they get a chance in the next round as well. So it gives me another opportunity to look at players. Bit of a silly nonsense right on the 90th minute. What did you make of it? It was one of those, you know, frustration by them. You know, Alex trying to keep the ball, he's giving the free kick away or whatever, and he's just standing on the ball and retreating. They would do exactly the same. Um, but it, one of their players run from the middle of the pitch to get involved when he didn't need to. And Alex stood his ground, which I don't worry about. That. As long as he don't raise his hands and get himself sent off, I want him to stand up for himself like all my players. And I, and I will do the same for him. Um, and it, it was called by one of their players just getting involved when he didn't need to. Turning to the draw for the FA Trophy, uh, what do you think about that Bromley at home? It's a tough game. You know, they're in the, in the league above. They, they took Dartford in the FA Cup, uh, got beat 4 3 by them. So. It's going to be a tough one. Um, hopefully, it'll be a nice crowd there. Could have had an easier draw, maybe, and, and try to get through. But I know we've come unstuck in one of them easier draws before. But we'll be prepared. I haven't watched, and uh, we'll just give the best account of the Canada that and try and get through, Jim. Okay. Well, that's well done tonight, and.